I think against Jen, if it's stuff I make every day, I'm gonna do it like I do every day. If it's stuff I've never heard of, might need to measure that one out. So I'm going to be going against Brooksy. It's a battle of two redheads. Should be epic. Three, two, one, go! When I got on stage, I was nervous, but glad that I had a friend by my side. You know, just, just super excited to be doing this. Jen, I really love the care that you took with your garnish. It just looks picture perfect. It, it tastes very balanced and just the way that I like them. Brooksy, your Negroni was absolutely delicious. A little bit on the sweet side. The liquid in these two glasses, you guys could have collaborated on this, made one big drink and poured them both into each glass. It's the same cocktail, but one drink was clean and tight and delicious. One, one drink was delicious and, and the garnish was a little bit funky on it. On mine, both were really solid, good, good examples. And Brooksy's was probably balanced more towards acid, maybe more than most people would like it, but I'm the one who's drinking it. I knew, you know, to make his drink just a little more sour than I probably should have, but that's what you gotta do when you're a bartender, you gotta adapt. There are a couple of floaters in gins. Again, the flavor was extremely similar between the two cocktails. The main differential was in the volume of the ice, which, you know, if you truly are a person that wants to sit and drink your scotch, you wanna taste the scotch, you don't want it to be diluted. The winner, with a time of two minutes and 32 seconds, Going to face off against Paige Unger in the finals is Jen Tosato. We'll see you there, Jen. Let me tell you, with this group of ladies that we had today, like I said, I am so, so thrilled to be in the finals and to represent Kansas City. Female bartenders rock.